I'm back. How are you guys doing? So I think we're ready. At least I think I'm ready to um, add black. So this is absolutely gorgeous. I really like the way. I like the, the textures. There's a lot of going on. We're gonna probably, I'm gonna probably go back and do more white. Um, but I wanna add a little bit of black and see, but maybe not. Like I said, this is not something I'm talking because you're watching, so, but I like to just kind of go with the flow. So we'll see what happens here. Another thing I like to do too, is I love doing yoga. I had done yoga um, in Pilates, and I just recently started getting back into it again. And I love doing that too, because it's just such a, um, a meditational type. It just clears your mind. It's just so, it's nice. It's really nice. It kind of puts you in the right frame for pain. Okay, so I have the big, huge um, tub of it here. And then I also have the smaller, the squeeze bottles as well. Now you can get also when you are, if you're wanting to do this at home, you know, there's a small size of the little um, palettes and then there's the big ones. You can also, I'm using these um, actual boards that these are good to paint on. Even. So these are actual, even if you want to go out and get something like this too. This is actually act, acting as my palette, but at the same time, I mean, this could end up becoming a really cool piece as well because of all the layer upon layer upon layer. And then this is very frameable. So this is kind of nice and it's just super lightweight and easy for me and it's the right size. So that's why I'm using this today. Also, feel free to, um, anything that you have around your house that we talked about, sometimes I'll paint with my hands, hands or gloves, you know, and get really into it. Um, I have this really cool um, brush that I actually picked up from, I think, Lowe's or Home Depot. And this is really awesome too. So just like anything you can think of, um, go for it. Just try different things. So for this one, Let's see. Now this does not, okay, so this is already, I can tell. You know, it's interesting because sometimes, like most of them are pretty consistent. This is definitely not as thick. So I'm gonna pour a little bit on again on my palette. And then, uh, let's see. I'm gonna take a little bit of this too. And if you have any questions, like I said, um, definitely, you know, go ahead and ask me and I'll try to answer you to the best of my knowledge as far as, you know, how to do something, where to get a certain product. And if you're interested in purchasing my art as well or me doing a commission piece, feel free to reach out to me as well too. Okay, so let's see here. So this is, um, I like this, I like the way. So the white paint is not um, dry yet and um, I'm liking the way I'm getting the blending. Like you can really, like the blending is really awesome. 
So don't be afraid to blend your colors. A lot of people wait and dry them. So that way you don't, you know, just again, it depends on what kind of look you're going for. But to me that like I'm getting such really cool hues of different grays and that is just so beautiful to me. I just, I don't know if you guys can see that candle burning. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. What kind of flavor is that again? I just got it the other day called Lava. It's pretty. And also like, sometimes you can just, you know, drip it on purpose, let it drip down. I'm literally not thinking about blending at all. I'm just feeling it. I like to, I recently, like, I feel like, I just like to feel it and like push into it and just feel creating my own texture with the paint as well. You know, and there's all these different palette knives are different um, shapes and sizes. You can just paint with one palette knife. Is if you know if it's work for you, just go with the one that's doing it. Sometimes I. I have this gorgeous, um, one of my very first paintings that when I first, um, you know, I was painting, but I really got into it, it was actually oil. And um, it ended up looking like, a, basically like an angel's wing. It was so pretty. And a collector in New York has that painting. It was hard to part with for a while. Sometimes I'll keep my paintings for a while. Um, and then when I'm ready, you know, let them go at that time because you do get attached to it. It is like, it's, it's kind of, it's hard to sell any of your paintings in, re in reality. It really is. Like it's a proud moment and you want, you feel, you know, grateful that someone respects and appreciates your art, but at the same time, it's also hard to let go. Cause it's a piece of you, you know? And that's another thing too, like your, It's a piece of that person that you're getting. You're not just getting art. You know, you're getting, whether they're established or not, their emotions, what they put into it. But like, do you see this? Like, look at how gorgeous that is. The colors are just like so, oh my God, I just love it. I'm sure most of you have gone to a museum and you just sit there in awe, you know, or a gallery of, you know, your favorite artists and you just sit there in awe and you just look at the, you just like look at the painting or, and again too, when you're doing these, um, for you too, if you're creating art or you're just a collect or you are a collector and you're admiring the art, you know, um, some artists will be like, this is the way it is. It only goes this one way, but turn it, turn it around, turn it upside down, turn it backwards, sideways. And you know, it's going to completely give you another feel. I love 
too. So a lot of times too, like it's fine to just get a little bit of pan on the sides too. A lot of people like that, you know. You don't have to finish your sides. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then again, it depends on what you're feeling too. Like you can, um, you know, if you if you want to finish them, black is a lot of times the nice way to go. It just looks very ideal. Um, but I mean, I it's kind of just a personal preference. I mean, there's some artists that I know out there that they're really good established artists and they're selling their pieces for a hundred grand a piece and like the edges will be completely raw. Maybe it would be like just boom, like a little, you know, something on the edge. So it's not like, you know, there are no rules. You know, everyone does it different. You know, and if you have a gallery that's representing you too, like, I mean, it doesn't matter. Like everyone is different. And if you're selling your piece to a collector, another thing that you can tell them too, I mean, some people love, because they can see that, it, I mean, it, obviously, if you're talking about original paintings, it's original painting. But some people like to not have it framed, and then other people are gonna wanna have a very simple frame. Some people are gonna want a really nice, ornate frame. So again, depending on their decor and the look that they're going after, that will determine that. So normally, again, I'm going to take these off just so I, hold on here. I do a few more than I normally would. Okay. Some artists too, I mean, it's great to try different things. Um, you might enjoy at night um, painting, you might enjoy first thing when you wake up. I do know that um, for you guys out there that um, it does help to have your studio set up um, so it's kind of available. Even if you're a, a clean, neat freak, I mean, and have everything super organized, it is nice to just have it available at all times. Like I even over there have my sewing machine out and I'm not sewing right now, but it's just, I know that like I, I like to, um, you know, sew some things every once in a while. And I know it's like, I see it, it's a little bit messy right now than normal. So I need to kind of organize a little bit better. <clears throat> but um, it's just nice when you have a workspace. It, it makes, to me, it makes a huge difference. Because if you constantly, but again, for you guys that are just going to try this for the first time, then obviously go for it and create your little space for the day or two days or three days or whatever. But yeah, it definitely is nice to have um, your own little room that you can work in. Outside is really cool too, so even if you don't want to make a mess inside, go work out in the nice sunshine. Now again, just because I'm doing abstract and I'm not like really following a form doesn't mean that, you know, you can't do the abstract and then put something more detailed on top as well. You can definitely do that. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to, I'm going to pour a little bit just to see what I,
awesome too in the color. You know, it could have done white with bright blue for the ocean, you know, or a teal, um, pink. You know, it would look, it would look really cool, any color really. But there's just something neat about black and white. Look at all the colors, so, like I love it. I just absolutely love it. Okay, I'll be right back one second. I love my studio look. I obviously do. Um, I have paints over there, I have paints here, I have paints behind, and um, I love my little coffee bar too, and I have my teas. Okay. It's kind of like one of those, I don't know if I should stop or if I should keep going. back and look at it. Okay, let's see. I'm going to grab um, the shape. just a little bit thicker. So again, you saw me using the, the um, board as a palette. I can just, you can just squeeze the paint on as well. I do that a lot actually. I'm leaving it really thick.
I like this. The style neck is cool. See how it has the cutout? It's pretty neat. So it's cool with these towel knives too. So like I can go all the way down to the canvas like I'm actually trying to take the paint off and manipulate the paint and get all these like you know just like these cool different little textures. I think it's so enjoyable to work with towel knife. And look at that, see here? This is what's neat about working while the acrylic is wet. Typically people that use oil love oil because of the blending and because it doesn't dry that fast. But I have learned that even with acrylic, um, especially you know if you're painting really, really thin, then it's gonna dry faster. But by painting a little bit thicker, you can pretty much manipulate it like you would almost like an oil paint. But it's way easier to work with and easier to clean up. Although I love oils too, and I will work with oils just as much. Like I could honestly, I could almost go through the whole painting and just do this, and that would look awesome. But I don't know how much of it I'm gonna do that to. Let's see here. Again, you know, do what you want to do. You, if it feels good and it's working, go with it. But if you start thinking too much, don't overthink it, because that's usually ends up where you won't like it as much. Trust me. I liked every single one of my paintings when I don't think too much. So like if I find myself thinking now too much, I like want to step back and just take a break for a second. And again, you don't have to, I'm just because I'm talking and you know, you don't have to wear gloves and you don't have to change it as many times as I'm. Now also once this dries, There's a good possibility that I will go over it multiple more, time, more times, but we'll see. Okay, let's see here. Just step back and look at it. This one, you see how it's longer? Like the, I mean, they're all different shapes, of course. You see how this one's longer? Like you see this one a lot. This is a kind of a cool one.
feel therapeutic too. Even if you don't consider yourself an artist, we all have art inside of us. It's like just a cool way to oh, have it on the floor. I mean, if I'm thinking about anything, I'm just like the colors. I'm looking at them the way they're just absolutely beautiful, the way they're blending. My kitty cats. No, do not go in the paint. Hold on. They don't get a little messy. That's okay. If you have a little paper towel or an old rag, um, I save every like I save old towels and. Um, use them to clean up. That's a good idea to do that. Okay. Hi, Lulie. This is my cat, Lulie. Hi. He's such a cutie pie. So, um, There's some, you can definitely see the different dimensions, the thickness. Um, yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Like I said, when you paint this way, I'm looking at the colors, I'm feeling the emotion, every stroke I make with the palette knife. And what is gonna be so awesome later is that I'm gonna stand back and I'm gonna see things in this paint. And other people will see different things other than what I see. You know, super obviously it was all white, and now it's you know it's gone more to the black grades with a little bit of white. But I can go back 
I can do it right now while it's wet, but I'm going to wait and see how I feel about it. Because I feel like I've already gotten enough um, of the blending. And again, what's great about acrylic, like I said before too, oils too, what's great about um, these paints is that when I go back over it, if I do choose to do more layers, I can do the exact same thing that I'm doing right now. Like I'm still going to be able to blend and I'm still going to be able to do all that. And like, look at this, like all of a sudden, I mean, you think I'm done, but like all of a sudden I do this and like that creates another. There's so many ways to play with this paint. It's just so cool. Like that's even cool. And so that's another thing too. It's just fun to go through and keep changing it. Keep changing it and then again, you're gonna get something super amazing that you're like, how, how the hell did I do that? So this is what I'm talking about. Like I wasn't planning on going now horizontal on this piece like this, but I'm feeling it, so I'm going for it. I like that. That's really cool. Super, super, I really like this actually. So then that's the question. Do you stop? <laughs> do you stop or do you continue? Because again, I could keep going and be like, oh my gosh, it's even better now. Cause see how the lines like I had the shape and it almost looked like an actual like a person like the back of a person at first and then you know I was like okay that looks cool and all but I didn't feel it so just manipulating the lines like this and I really like I like the colors I like the thickness yeah okay so I'm gonna stop I'm definitely going to stop because I want to see how I feel about it. So, um, um, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so. And um, that way you also get notified when I have a new video out. And um, again, I'm Jamie Lawrence. So you can follow me. My website is jamielawrenceart.com. Also, Jamie LA Gallery on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. Um, if you subscribe, you'll see all the different links there. Um, and just have a great evening. I hope that um, you enjoyed tonight, and I hope that you will, um, you know, experience something new and try something new um, if you've never painted before. And I hope that I offered um, some advice for you guys that have painted a little bit or even a lot. So have a wonderful evening. And um, I will see you soon. And I will be back actually. And um, I'll show you if I decide to do more on this painting. So I'll, I'll continue to do this painting and other ones as well. And then I will talk to you later. Okay, bye. Have a great night.